Hi guys, so today's video is going to be NCS part 2, so this is the second video, basically week 2. So, week 2 we went to Brighton and we went to the University of Sussex. So, on the first day we obviously arrived at where we needed to be and we hopped in a coach. Our wave got split basically in half, so one group went and done first aid in our local area and then the second group, what I was on, went to a house that's called Stanley House I think it's called I'm not 100% sure this is what it looks like um so in there we looked around the house and we learned about the history of the house into the woods that was near there and learned about charcoal and how it's made and about like the history of how it's made we had to describe what charcoal is and how it's made through a song video anything like that whatever you wanted so we decided to do a song as we had a really good guitarist in our group and he's very good very very good so we decided to do a song and it was just about charcoal uh, charcoal i wish i did have the video of it and show you guys but i don't anymore sadly i don't know what happened to it i lost it on that day so it's not like i've just done a unit like i've actually lost it on the day i think i didn't save it to my snapchat like my snapchat i think i just posted it on my story and i didn't save it but after that, after that, we went into the field and just done a quiz about stuff and we had to write a review on the house and how it affected us and did we learn anything and would we come back. It was basically just to learn how to like get teenagers to come to this house as it kind of was a bit boring, like learning about a wallpaper and a history of a, to me, a random house. Like, I felt like I was walking through someone's house looking at their house from like 1900s or something like that and it just felt a bit awkward i'm not sure some people did enjoy it some people have already been before and enjoyed it so it was just my opinion on it the university of suffix um we arrived and we basically got put in groups um we had to go to our flat we all got given a key each and a lanyard we had to go to our flat and basically go in there we had a key to our door so everyone had their own bedroom their own door that locked at night and all through the day it was locked so your stuff was safe and this time i had chargers also I bring snacks in case the food was bad but luckily the food we got to decide what we wanted kind of and made it ourselves so that was my group my flat so i'm going to describe what the flat was so basically it was a three floor flat um, downstairs there was four bedrooms and a kitchen, it was the main kitchen. Second floor was four bedrooms and a bathroom that had two bathrooms in it and two showers. And then upstairs had four bedrooms and one kitchen that we didn't use at all. We just raided it and put it all downstairs in the downstairs. So I got put on the second floor with the bathroom. What was alright but the only thing was every night you could just hear people go to the toilet and open and close the doors all the time. That was the only thing. Um, so this is what our room looked like, it was very basic, we literally just had a bed, a sink in it because there was no sinks in the actual bathroom so we had to use our own sinks um, and just a desk that we used basically to eat off of that we used to, the first night we ate in my room so we all, the whole floor, like our floor, what was literally just my friends, we all sat in there and basically ate our dinner. And then halfway through we had this little room outside of our doors where like all our doors are connected and we basically pulled a table out there and sat in there because it was much easier than being all squished into one little room that was made for one person. I can't really remember any of the other days personally, like I can't remember in detail what we done. So I'm just going to give it a general, a general, I'll generally tell you what we done on all of the, for the rest of the week. One thing that always sticks out to me was we done plastering. So we had to wear these funny suits and we had to plaster a wall and learn how to plaster. We had to also plaster blindfolded while someone else was telling you what to do but could not touch your arms to help you. We also had to get put in groups and do this little activity, I like to call it role playing. And I was a social media person and you had to basically book jobs off of Twitter and stuff like that and emails. And you had to tell your group and they had to run and plaster a wall and then you get paid and you had to bid and be like right we want this much for this and many walls and at the end whichever group had the most money won and we won of course <laughs> anyway um we also had to do this thing called trash for flash what was quite fun 
um, that I never really took part in making it because there was another job I had to do at the same time. So trash for fast, you have to go around and find trash and basically make an outfit out of it. So his, I don't have our trash for fast, but I do have other people, so I just show videos of that. Um, it was very fun. We had a runway of it at the end of the day. It was a great way. I know this was on our last day, so it was a great day to like end on. And then we went to sleep afterwards, so that was very fun. Our group didn't win the trash for fash, but in my eyes we did. Um, so this is what I was doing instead of making the costumes. I was making a cake, so we had to make a cake. Um, you could keep, you could choose whatever theme you wanted, and we chose a Brexit, Brexit themed as someone in our group was I want to say obsessed, but just kept bringing up Brexit all the time. Um, it was kind of a common joke in our like little group, so we planned a little cake and it won we were so excited and gassed like i've never been so hyped in my life i literally everyone all the girls came into our kitchen and we were playing songs and we were dancing it was the last day and we were like do you know what we'll, we'll make the most out of this day so i so played quite a lot of sports in the hall we played like football bench ball and like dodgeball and stuff like that quite a lot that was quite a common theme we done every day it was just basically to waste some time for, till our next activity or they had no activities planned so like we'll just do this we also watched some movies i didn't watch a movie but you had the choice to watch a movie or play sports and stuff like that outside um we played a lot of card games like uno and stuff like that it's the best thing to bring on the trip is uno and some cards um because there is some times where you're just sitting around doing nothing um, we also went to Brighton for a day, I remember this was on a Wednesday. So we basically had to take photos of, by specific, by certain um, like places in Brighton. So, and they basically gave us a list and they were like, go to these places. I, our group did give up, but here's some photos of us trying to do the challenge. Um, so whatever's behind us is probably what we had to take photo of. All. I know some of it was like graffiti and it was like, this little temple thing I'd but we did give up on that challenge we just couldn't be bothered to walk anymore and we knew we had another walking challenge afterwards so the other challenge we had to do was a paperclip challenge and we basically got given like a paperclip and we had to go around brighton and just trade it in and try and get whatever at the end so we had a certain amount of time to do it and um, some groups came home with dyke trainers one group in Wave 3, I know, came home with a house for them and their friends to stay in for a week. We came back with a pencil, so... Yeah, we kind of gave up and went and ate fish and chips on the beach. But, oh well, that's fine. We had fun at the beach, throwing pebbles at my shoes, but yeah. Um, and got to make your own food, basically. So... They did give you kind of a set of like make jacket potatoes on Wednesday, make spaghetti bolognese. But you could add whatever you wanted to it. And also there was a local co-op on the site. So you could just go over to co-op. It was so expensive. But if you're hungry, you're going to spend the money. So we did buy some stuff there. Some, I know some people bought like a bag of chips to eat. Chicken nuggets. But they had like frozen stuff there as well to eat. And you could just make your own meal maybe at night. You had the full three of them. Um, the flat except there will be one leader probably not your leader but another leader the last day we basically got on a coach and we went and done the first aid so if you didn't do first aid on the first day you'll be doing it on the last day and if you didn't go to the house you'll be going to the house on the last day so i didn't attend the first aid so i'm not sure how that went um but yeah i didn't attend it for medical reasons um if you know me personally you'll understand why but yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this it was quite a rushed video like not rushed but like, i just want it was so much information to get into this video that it just needs to be quick and i don't want to drag it out like the last video so thank you for watching bye